Welcome back everybody to another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go. Today we are shiny Pikachu hunting. Speaking of, a Pikachu just appeared. And speaking not of, a Pikachu just appeared. Me. Not shiny for him, but this will be the first check for the day. Not shiny. But that's what we're out here doing is looking for shiny Pikachu. This is a Pikachu nest and then after this we're going to go to Pacific Community Park which is also a Pikachu nest. So, many much Pikachus are going to be caught today and hopefully we will find Another a Pikachu. shiny. Another one? Well, I haven't even caught this one yet. Not shiny. Not shiny for him either. So it's going to be a lot of uh, shiny checks and yep, you know the drill. I'm still catching no matter what. We all know shiny Pikachu is out permanently. We have no time limit on worrying about that. There's the second Pikachu. It's gonna be hard to tell if it's shiny because you know it's just slight different color and it's super bright I, out right I now. Can so because it's an orange. But it should also it's I not really it. orange, but it should also show a little bit of you know shiny glimmers. And all the eggs just switched. You can now hatch uh, shiny Pichus and what? shiny Magikarps out of 2k eggs. Oh, yep, and they switched uh, the egg okay. tiers around. The link will be down in the description from Pokemon Go Hub's uh, tier list. Chin Chow is out of 10Ks, and the 10K tier is actually a little acceptable now. So, you know the drill. Enjoy the view, and hopefully we catch a shiny Pikachu. Hey, that rhyme. And for now, we're gonna do a Wheezy raid. Yeah. Enjoy.
with one. And then eventually somebody gets the hint to correct it. Huh? People, learn to park. Okay, so now we are at Pacific Community Park. What a fast transition that was. We've actually, uh, there's been a slight intermission. We went home, charged phones, um, did a Blastoise raid. You have to click there to see that. But we are at Pacific Community Park now, and again, it's uh, another Pikachu nest, so second chance to find shiny Pikachu. We did not find any at Klein Line. So, all these stops should be new for me, so 250 each. 250 experience for every new stop. Yeah, if you don't know, you it. should buy now. How do you know if it's... If it has a ring around it. So if it has a ring, it will give you more experience? Yeah. Yes. This one. Only once. Only once. Yeah, and then after. Enjoy. So, as always, enjoy! for him. Yep. Uh, the only thing I don't like about these is it's you, kind of difficult to tell where you're supposed to throw it. Oh, that happened to me. Did I catch it? Nope. Completely airs out on you. That happened to us last time on the Machamp one. Yep. Sure. You gotta do something cool. What's up? Okay, I'm gonna squeeze that. Over there? And we're back home. So, we didn't catch any shinies, and I could have swore that when you caught a shiny, you knew because in your decks, it would show as 
that little um, icon trying to, you know, have this load here. But we have a shiny Magikarp and a shiny Gyarados, and I don't see the shiny Shimble, symbol, Shimble, symbol in my decks. I thought that was supposed to show up when you actually have caught a shiny. Because otherwise, besides knowing its color, how are you supposed to know you caught a shiny? Especially for the ones that are so, like, it's such a light color difference, like with Pichu, and Pikachu should be fairly easy, but if you're like out on a shiny, on a shiny day, it's gonna be pretty hard to see on your phone, depending on your brightness, whether it's actually shiny or not. Cause like, see, so we have a shiny Magikarp, and it has all those big shinies that show. Is that different? That, okay, that tells you, I guess. So you have super shinies around it, like all those little sparkles everywhere. I thought there was an actual little, like, shiny tag for it, though. I guess not. Hmm. Yeah, I thought there was supposed to be some kind of, on, in the dex page, I thought, you know, there was supposed to be, like, a little shiny icon next to that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tweet me your screenshots. If you have a shiny Magikarp and it actually shows the shiny, I'm confused. Aside from that, Pokemon Go announced that there are two new official events, one in Philadelphia and then another one in Akron, Ohio, I believe. The links will be down in the description for you guys to look those up. If you're near there, if you can travel and make it to there, those are two more opportunities to go and check out events. We don't know the details of these events yet, but we know they have been announced. Also, there are still the European events going on, so... Many opportunities going on with Pokemon Go, so, you know, continue the hype, continue the hype, continue the hype. Also, get hyped if you're local for an event that we are throwing here. Pokemon Go Prepare. I mentioned it in the last video, and I met up with um, the committee for it, and we're going to be filming it, we're going to be doing um, prizes, there's individual prizes, there's team prizes um, based on your badges. Again, it's going to be recorded in, you know, each team is going to have a representative who records everybody's scores per the badges that we're keeping track of. And based on how many points you get, um, the announcements will be given of what the official point ranges are. We're still working those out. There, There's a pretty good idea of what we're going to do, but... Stay tuned for all of that. Again, all of those links are down in the description, so be prepared for that event. But that's it for this episode. We will go out shiny hunting one more time before the migration does happen, either Tuesday or Wednesday, and we will go out to try and take advantage of those increased spawns and increased chance to get a shiny Pikachu. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You have to keep that in mind. This game is not fair. Just the way it is. Anyways, be sure to scroll down. Give me that like if you truly did enjoy this. If you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the bell notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, trainers. Bye!